guys welcome back to our channel so today I am going to be bathing Stassi this is part two of the bathing Stassi videos I if you have not watched the first video it was the pre bath video where I showed you exactly what I do before bathing her and now we're going to be bathing her in my RV shower this is not the most ideal place to bathe her at all it is not very comfortable for me she's fine but it's not very comfortable for me because I am on the floor um, by this shower which is not a very big shower in the RV so needless to say I cannot wait until I get my house all set up with my grooming stuff so that I can do a proper bath and of course I will redo videos at that time um, to show you my new setup when that occurs it's not going to be my ideal setup if I you know if I wasn't on a budget but I am on a budget so it's going to be a setup that's going to work it may not be the prettiest setup but it is going to work and that's going to be the most important thing right so here I am in the RV I am using the um, shower head which is turned off right now I'm gonna turn it on whoa <laughs> sorry Stas uh, so that this can start heating up the water now I have already protected her eyes with this product here which is called the safe eye I am going to link this in the description box below it is very important that you protect your dog's eyes with a product that is similar to this I believe the one they have out now is called eye safe it's the same thing but her eyes have already been protected with that just in case I would get suds in her eyes we of course try to be as careful as we can but you never know um, you know what could happen so that step is very very important okay so once your water gets to the temperature that you would like then you start wetting down the coat I am at such an awkward angle I'm reaching over because I have the tripod here so that you guys can see so I'll probably get my floor sopping wet here all right so she's nice and combed out as you saw in the previous video and you just want to get that coat fully drenched with water So I'm starting out on her sides, getting her underneath part. All right, come on, Stassi. I know this is awkward for us both. Trying to maintain control over this hose thing so that it doesn't go crazy. All right, so doesn't she look like Cousin It <laughs> from the Adams Family? Oh, she's got such pretty hair. I'm jealous, girl. Mama's jealous. Okay, wait a minute. Come here. Come here. Don't go anywhere. All right, now I'm going to, she's going to, this is the part she doesn't really like. None of them like their heads washed. Come on, and then trying to do this at this angle is not easy, guys. Let me get the hair out. Okay, just a minute, just a minute. Just a minute. Let's wet your head. So if you don't have a shower head you can buy the ones that you can connect to a faucet and I highly recommend that so just get get that fur all the way wet and then I try and keep the hair back from her eyes okay I know I know I know Wait a minute. All right, now 
I'm gonna shut off the water so that I can use, clean out that drain. So it'll drain. All right, so I can use the shampoo. So this is the shampoo that I am using right now. It is the Isle of Dogs Everyday um, Silky Coating Shampoo, Jasmine and Vanilla. I also use the Premium Show Pet Grooming Products, the Moisture Unleashed, but lately I've been using this one and I love it. Um, I love the way it smells and it's readily available on Amazon, which I really like because, you know, everything is available on Amazon, which makes things so easy. And I also like that you don't have to dilute this one because, you know, it's just an extra step that you don't have to do. All right, so you are going to basically just lather up the coat. This is a great opportunity to feel your dog. So this is very, very important, guys. Um, lumps and bumps come up, and with early treatment, things like mammary cancer, lymphoma, uh, things like that, if caught early, can be treated. So make sure that while you are grooming your dog, you are also feeling them, feeling underneath their chin for any kind of lumps, feeling underneath their little boobies there to feel for any lumps and bumps. I'm doing the face first because I want this to kind of sit on her face. And I just coat my hands like this so that I can just use my fingers to kind of get in by her eyes without, you know, really getting soap in the eyes. So I just take my fingers and kind of work that shampoo because this is the part, of course, that gets the dirtiest. So, just give a little scrub right there. I don't know if you hear Finley snorting in the background. She's my background noise all the time. All right, so lather, lather. As you can see, this stuff lathers really, really good. And the wetter the coat, the better it lathers. This is a little dry, so I'm gonna add more water to this. Hey, wait a second. Come here. Runaway, tr runaway train. Come here, you. Uh, all right, so I'm just getting this a little wetter. I spent so much time on the face that this kind of got a little dry. I did put some on her back, so this is a good way for me to kind of get a little bit of that soap into her fur as well. All right, and then, I am not very conservative, guys, when it comes to shampoo. I tend to, tend to use a good bit of it. Come here, come here, come here. All right, so. Lather that coat all up. <laughs> are you trying to make the escape from me? Huh? Are you trying to escape? Is that what you're trying to do? I know. Well, it did just, you know what? It pays to be beautiful. No pain, no gain, girl. Right? All right. So you want to just make sure you got all of that coat. I'm getting her belly right now. Oh my goodness, does that feel good? Does it feel good, mama? Oh yes, it does feel good, huh? Yes, all right. And then the last thing I do is I get the legs. So again, putting it in between my 
my fingers. Alright, come here, let me get the back legs. So that I can scrub up those legs. She has to shake and get me all wet. All right, come here, girl. Oh my goodness, what was that? Come see, come here. <laughs> She's like a moving target. She knows I can't really get to her very well right here to stabilize her. All right, so uh, move. Finley, do you see Finley? Finley is right here, checking it out. Normally I would close the door so that she, do you want a bath, Finley? Really? You're gonna get snapped at, because she's probably not in the mood for you to be sniffing her while she's getting her bath. I'm waiting for Finley to jump in the shower. Come here, Stassi, come over here. She's in the corner. Come on. I know, I know. Come on, Mama. So we're just getting all of the shampoo out of her fur. Come here. Now the way that I get the shampoo out of her hair is I I put it back and then I put my hand over her eyes to block the water from coming into her eyes and then I kind of stabilize her head with my two fingers here and just really soak that top part of her head is going backwards or most of the water is going backwards. Oh my goodness, you're wetting me all up, girl. And then for her face, I kind of do the same thing. I kind of hold down her beard. To get that area. You can also use a cup, which would help to get those areas rinsed out. You want to make sure all of the soap is rinsed out, of course. So I'm gonna finish that up. Okay, she's all rinsed off, and so the next step is the um, conditioner, and this is the Everyday Elements by Isle of Dogs Silky Coating Conditioner. Oop, there we go. <laughs> and it's in the scent of Jasmine Vanilla, which is my favorite. And again, this does not need to be diluted. And so I just apply directly to the coat and then just work it in. So as you're working it in, you're also feeling, again, for lumps and bumps. And then you want to let this kind of sit on the coat a little bit. Not so much that, you know, your dog gets freezing cold, but you don't want to. Come here, come here. You don't want to immediately rinse it out because it needs to sit there for at least a couple of minutes just to just to condition, to do its job. Come on, Finley. Move out the way, you. Getting this all over her little head, her ears, her chest. Okay, so this has sat on her for a couple of minutes and now it's time to rinse it out. And I'm going to basically use the same method as before. So I'm just rinsing all of the conditioner out of the coat. And you can really feel that this really works because it's very silky smooth after. So once you bathe 
your dog um, usually it's just like your own hair you know after you shampoo and you get all of the oils out which is what makes the hair dirty right all of the oils from their skin the hair feels very dry but then once you use the conditioner it's like oh there's that silkiness that just comes back Moving from body part to body part until all of the conditioner is out. I think you can really kind of tell how silky her hair is. So she is out of the shower. I got all of the excess water off of her fur and I am just towel drying her before I go to dry her with the, the blow dryer. <laughs> so I think this is her favorite part for sure. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned to the next um, segment of this video series which will be blow drying Stasi, which will be coming to this channel very soon so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and we will catch you guys on the next video bye guys have a great day bye bye did that feel good did that feel good mama yeah that feels good <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mwah. Mwah. Yes, it feels good. <laughs>